Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup video and I am inspired by one of Nikki Tutorials' old videos. Now she did a video a few years back called The Power of Makeup or something along the lines of that and basically that's really inspired me to want to do one for myself because I know personally how different makeup makes you look and to be fair, the difference can be quite shocking sometimes. I wouldn't consider myself somebody who wouldn't go out without makeup on, but I know these girls out there and boys who feel more comfortable when they are wearing makeup. Now, I think it's amazing what makeup can do to your face. Like, makeup is no longer just makeup. Makeup is literally like an art form these days. I mean, it's 2019. People are creating amazing things with makeup these days. Now, I am somebody who loves a good full face and also loves nothing on the face. So I'll let you be the judge of which side looks best and I'm not a professional makeup artist before anyone says anything so this makeup might not be fantastic. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my face is all wiped now, I've got no lashes on anymore and no eyeliner. So I'm just going to zoom you in, well that is a lovely sight. So I'm going to start off by just priming my eye with this, now this is my Revolution Concealer. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it on my eye basically. And I'm going to blend this in using my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take my Morphe palette, this is the 35F palette, and I'm going to start off with this shade right here. So what I'm going to do is just tap that on here. So the next shade I'm going to take is this one right here and I'm just going to tap this into my face a little bit further. So we don't have to be neat with this really, I'm honest. Um, just pack it all on there. And then using that same brush and these two colours mixed together I'm just going to tap that in a bit further. Just slowly darkening this area here. And going back to that first brush and just blending that out with the first colour. And then finally, just taking a little bit of that black and I'm going to tap it right on the edge. So once you've got this desired shape and like the smokiness that you want, um, basically I'm going to be adding some glitter today because is it really me if I don't add glitter? No. So I'm going to be taking this one here, it's like a holographic silver. And I'm going to use this with my Stargazer Glitter Fix Glue. And so basically, I'm going to draw out my cut crease and then apply it with this little brush. So, nothing too hard. Once you're happy with how this looks, I'm going to just go back to my palette and re-stamp the black and brown in this outer portion. So, just stamp that on like this. And what that does is just helps to create a little bit of a blend just on the join. So this 
doesn't have to be neat at all. I just like this end of it really dark here. But that is my easy eye look. So I'm just going to go back to my face wipe and just wipe away the glitter from underneath the eye. Basically I do my eyes first when I'm doing a look like this because I do get a lot of fallout of the glitter. So I just find it's a lot easier to do this. Next I'm going to be taking my foundation. Now this is, obviously it's not the right colour for me at the moment. I usually wear this when I'm a bit tanned like if I'm going out. But this is the Maybelline 24 hour Superstay. And I'm going to take that on the back of my hand. And just pat that in. Going back to my concealer, I'm just going to cut underneath there. I'm going to cut underneath my eye, my forehead, chin. So once you're happy with the blend and everything else, then you might want to set this in place. So I just set this in place basically using a any powder. This is meant to be a colour correcting one, but I just chuck it all over. So I'll just pat that on to set everything. Now, don't get me wrong, this makeup can seem way too much for certain people. Um, obviously, there's nothing against that, but when I go out, I like to cake it up a little bit. So, I'm just going to take this brush again and just blend that out. Now, I've got my mascara. Mascara? And then foundation and concealer. Now, I've got those on, I just want to blend that eye around a little bit. The next thing you want to do is take your contouring things. So I powder contour, I'm going to take these three shades mixed together. And I'm just going to dab this straight onto the underside of my cheekbone. And it should create like a line here. I'm just going to then dab it around my forehead. Just to give myself a bit of definition back into my face. Because no one wants to be flat like a pancake. And just a bit on the side of my nose. Just like whatever's left on the brush. And I use this, my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And basically, everywhere I've just contoured, I just put a little bit over the top to deepen contour and make it a little bit more holiday glow. So now all my powders are set, I like to take my glow setting spray from Primark and just give my face a good spritz to set all the powders down. And basically what this does is as it goes into my face, I feel like it helps the powders settle a lot more so it's less cakey and more, I don't know, settled. And then I just take my fan, waft that dry, and then my blending brush, uh, my beauty blender from earlier, and just pat anywhere where pigments might have came. Now your skin should look nice and glowy. Whilst it's still a little bit damp, I like to take my highlighter. So I'm using the mink pink one, and that's from Primark. And I'm just going to dust this over the high parts of my cheeks. Because my face is still a little bit like tacky. The highlight sticks really nice. So, 
look at that glow from the £2.50 highlighter. You get that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go in with the Isla Dark Brown Pomade. Going back to my Morphe palette, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm just going to do the smaller highlights. So for example like in the corner and under the brow bone. take just a cold liner, this is from the Avon I think, and just line my waterline. Next I'm going to take my liquid liner and I'm going to do a wing. So again I'm going to have to look in my mirror for this because I can't see. you've created. Now I'm not the best at wing liners, don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect at doing this sort of thing. Um, I'm going to just take a mascara and apply that to my top and bottom lashes. So while this is drying I'm going to be taking a lip pencil and I'm going to just outline my lips. So for my lips I'm going to be using my NYX Liquid Suede and this is in the colour Sandstorm. So I'll literally just take this and apply it to my lips. I'm going to give this a minute to dry because this is a liquid matte so it will dry down. So while this is drying I'm going to go put my lashes on. So the lashes I'm using today are these Glamify ones which I've already cut to size. And these are in the style GB4. Anybody else hate just how gunky the eyelash container gets? Mine gets horrible and I, look, I like to think I look after my makeup, but it still ends up looking horrible. These are some very fluttery eyelashes. So I just place them about here, because I don't like them to start from in here because they really irritate me. So I start them on the outside and it kind of opens up my eye a little bit. So now this lash is on, I'm going to be taking my Moondis palette and that's by Urban Decay. And I'm going to take it just on like a flat shader brush and I'm going to be taking this colour right here which is granite. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and rub it along the underside of my lash line. I love a good smoky bottom lash. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. For a final touch, I'm going to add a gloss to my lip. So the gloss I'm using is the Sexy Mother Pucker. And I'm just going to apply that to the centre. Oh dear, this is gloopy. This is by Soap and Glory, by the way. Just to prove that this side is obviously plain and has no makeup on, so excuse my wipe, but I'm just going to wipe straight down the middle. Like so, I'm just going to make sure everyone knows that this side is clear. Absolutely no makeup on this side whatsoever. Put on my brows because I've had them microbladed. That's a bit of eyelash glow, I think that's stuck in my eye. So, this is both sides of the makeup. Now, this is something I would have when I'm going out, like around the town, stuff like that. 
And then this is like, this is real me really. Like, there is no need to hide this side because, I don't know, I like myself with and without makeup. I do prefer makeup because I feel like you can be more, I don't know, you can show a bit more of your personality through your makeup and the things you like. I love glitter so my going out makeup is constantly full of glitter really. I can't go out unless I've got glitter on. But I'm just going to zoom you out. It's back to normal. So obviously this is normal me and this is going out me. Let me know what you guys think. I've never done this before and to be fair it is, I mean it's not a shock because I know where I look like both with and without makeup but obviously I'm used to seeing myself like this and rather than this but I really miss doing my makeup like how I would going out and it just shows the type of difference makeup can create like this makeup I think is beautiful but obviously I love my face without makeup as well because I'm not ashamed of like being without makeup but this just shows how different you can look with makeup. So this really just proves the power that makeup has. This video is coming to an end. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, just let me know which side you prefer really. So if you like this side, please leave me a yellow heart on the comments. And if you prefer this side, leave me a black heart in the comments. So yeah, this is the power of makeup. And this really is a transformation if you ask me. So thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.